Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where assistants often come in the form of a ship. Today I'm going to introduce you to the three unique small ships that I'm going to use in order to construct our prefabricated asteroid base. The first one is a simple welder. This thing is ion drive propelled. It has the basic essentials in order to be a drone such as the antenna, and then also has the remote control with a camera attached. The grinder is typically the same setup. Now on these, there is not a small cargo container or medium cargo container. You simply have the connector directly attached to the grinder or the welder. The drone driller actually has a converter that is connected to the drill because the drill uses a small opening and the connector uses a larger opening. It does have the additional ion thrusters in the front in order to prevent you from, say, crashing into a wall too hard if you're closer to a gravitational field or you have a lot of weight in the front end pulling you forward with the drill. All three of these will conveniently do the job for us. And for the most part, we will control them from a distance. The driller is up first, and we're just going to demonstrate how it can quickly and accurately grind up a piece of rock. I know it's probably not that impressive for most people that have ever used a drone driller before, but it is very helpful. This driller will also fit in very narrow passageways so if we want to stick to the width of our tunnel when it comes to the asteroid base, it's not going to necessarily dig more than what we need. And as you see, it's done. Now when operating this thing, it can maneuver pretty easy and it is capable of directly connecting to a grid with a refinery on it. In fact, all three of them are, which makes them highly versatile and easy to use to onload and offload material. The welder and grinder also connect to each other if needed. So if you have a project that you wanted to dismantle and then use the material again on the future project, use the grinder first. And then once you have all the material within the grinder, you can simply connect it to the welder and the welder will be able to finish the job. This is our welder here. And we did exactly that earlier, connected the grinder to the welder after I took down some old projects. The welder is pretty simple to operate and I did try to put the camera as close as possible to the end so we can easily see where it's pointing at. But unless you put it on the side which gives you kind of a weird view, this is about as close as you can get to seeing where the tip of this welder is. Fortunately, it will weld two different blocks at the same time, just like that. And make quick work of small projects. This is what we're going to use in the future to weld all the internal components for the base. It is also small enough to fit through the tunnels. And finally, once we park this, I'll show you how the grinder will quickly take down that wall so you can reuse the materials for a different location. Each one is pretty simple to operate. If you hit the K button on your keyboard to open a terminal or simply access a terminal in a different way, you can easily go to the top and choose which one to remote control select control, and then you'll be on your way. Make sure that you actually have your functioning toolbar present, otherwise it's not going to technically connect via remote control. I noticed that earlier that if you're not displaying, say, your health level and such, then it's not going to be able to connect directly to the drone unless you display it first. This grinder also does two blocks at a time if necessary. 
and we're done. It's actually pretty quick when you think about it. These small drones, since they don't weigh that much, move initially pretty quick. But since the welder and the grinder can handle about 40,000 kilograms, they do start slowing down once you put all the weight on them. Last but not least is the micro manager. This one is just a, a little bug of sorts. I call it the Skeeter. And this little thing, it doesn't really provide anything but electricity and oversight for your drones. So you can easily maneuver to where your drones are working and be able to direct see their movement if you don't want to use the camera the whole time. It is also pretty quick it is very nimble, easy to maneuver around different things, and that's about it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please leave your tips, tricks, and comments in the comments section below. I appreciate it.